Welcome to another in the series of Perfect Laser Tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to do a cake topper using Corel Draw and of course output on Corel Laser. So we'll start off with the names. Let's say we have uh, John and Sally. So, um, but we want John and Sally. If you have a nice font installed, if not, you can go and download from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Let's use uh, a nice little font. And we want to view this in wireframe so that we can see what, where the letters are and where they overlap. First, the first thing we need to do is convert this object to curves. So you can either press Control Q, or you can go to Object Convert to Curves. Now we have one object, and it's all curves. Next thing we want to do is break this apart. Now you can use the Control key, and again Control K will break it apart, or you can go to your object and break curve apart. Now every curve, every item here is a separate curve. If you move that around, you'll see it. So control Z undo that. So where you have letters that have inner parts, you need to combine them again. So this J has two parts to it. We'll select both parts, two objects selected. Control L will combine them. Or you can go again to object combine. And we have the O is made up of one, two, three parts. So if we select all three of them, we have three objects selected, Control L will combine them. H and N are fine. The ampersand has three parts as well. Control L combine. The S has uh, one, two, is it two? Yes, can do that. Control L for combine. The A has two, control L for combine, and the Y has two, and control L for combine. Just to see it, here it is there, and control Z undoes that. So now we want to m connect these things together, and to do that, um, we want to have an overlap, a slight overlap along the line. Now we've got the J and the O and we want to just connect them together. The H is there, that will connect, that will connect. We can move that fractionally. Again this is not a this is not a science, it's what you do with it. So uh, if we just go there and grab this these nodes and move that up slightly so that there is that minimal overlap that was using the shape tool. So this overlap here will combine and what we need to do now is we need to go to our dockers and find here uh, shaping, the shaping tool and mine defaults to weld, yours might show trim or intersect or one of the others, but you want to weld these. So you don't want to leave the originals, but so just make sure those boxes are clicked off. So we have the J selected and we're now going to weld it to the H and you'll see that we suddenly get the two combining, which now we want to weld to the O and that will combine and weld to the N. So now we have John as one item, all nicely combined. So we can take the ampersand and place it. We, we're not sure exactly where we want this yet, but let's uh, first combine the Sally. So the S will weld to the Y, which will weld to the two L's. And what we actually want to do is not have this A hanging in space. So we want to just have a slight overlap there and we can stretch it slightly to overlap there. So we weld that 
and there we have a nice weld everything all together so now we can move Sally down here and see where she's going to overlap and that's there let's move the ampersand out the way for a second and although it is straight that's how the text was done we might want to just move it slightly to get a better alignment here where we're joining them up so here we have two points of connection which will probably be enough so if we weld that to the john we'll see that we have a single item now we need to bring in the ampersand and we can have it there or we can bring it down just depends on where you think it'll look best so there let's do it there and we'll weld that onto the whole thing so now we have a single item john and sally and if we view that in the enhanced mode you'll see there's your john so now we have a cake topper but we don't have the right size yet at the moment this is only 100 millimeters wide by 66 high so if you know the size of the cake you can simply drag this across to make it more or less the right size there's 224 by 146 let's say that that is going to be the cake topper our page is set on 300 by 200 which if you that's the size material you're using you can keep it to that or you can change it but right now we need something to stick this into the cake so if we just grab uh, the rectangle tool and let's create a uh, say four millimeter wide stick we will convert this control Q converts this to curves by the way we'll just zoom in grab the shape key shape tool double click and drag down using the control key and we've created a pointed stick now we can zoom out duplicate this by dragging it across with the right mouse duplicating it make sure that it's not sticking out anywhere and we can just go back here select the main name and weld it to the first stick which will unfortunately remove the color but never mind we'll come back to that in a sec and weld that to the second stick now it's all one piece and we can just have a look at it again so to cut now we'll actually remove that uh, fill and we just have the outline we can now go to the cutting menu on your coral laser there you'll see your cake topper and we're ready to cut simple isn't it